Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on Silius, the e-commerce components for the Symfony 2 framework. My name is Axel and I will be guiding you on how to build your own custom web shop using these components. In this video I will show you how to override the templates in the web bundle. So let's get started. I presume you already have Silius installed. If not, go check out my previous video. Make sure to install the standard edition of Silius, not the developer edition, because the install command will fail. Now let's get started. This is what Silius looks like out of the box. What you see here is the web bundle. It doesn't look too fancy, but keep in mind that they're really just made the web bundle to demonstrate all the functionality they built. After Silius is installed, you already have an app bundle waiting for you in the source directory. What you want to be doing is overriding the web bundle. So let's go ahead and do that. If you know Symfony, you'll probably already know how to do that because it's just basic Symfony functionality. So let's open up the app bundle.php file here and set the Silius web bundle as parent. Just by adding this small function, your app bundle is extending the web bundle. Return Silius web bundle. That should do it. So let's find out if this worked like we would expect. We're going to start with overriding the base template for the front ends. So let's head over to the Silius web bundle in the vendor directory and grab that template to make some adjustments. Let's go over here, look for the Silius directory. There's a whole lot of bundles, a web bundle. Views, let's open up the front end views directory. And this file right here is the one we need called layout.html.twig. So let's copy this one and go back to your app bundle. In our app bundle, we are going to create the same directory structure that the web bundle has. That way, if we put the file in the same exact location, Symfony will use this file instead of the file of the parent bundle. The parent bundle is the web bundle because we set it like that in our app bundle.php file, remember? This is just how Symfony works, so pretty neat, right? I like to think about it as extending a parent class. If you create a public function with the exact name of a public function in your parent class, PHP will know to use your function instead of the one from the parent class. So that's kind of what's happening here. Anyway, let's proceed. Now that we have copied the base template for the front end, let's put something in here to make sure we have successfully overridden the web bundle. I'll just put something in an h1 tag here so it's big enough to immediately notice we have overridden the web bundle so let's save and open up our browser and hit refresh And there you have it. And of course you wouldn't want to just put headings all over the place, but make some changes to fit your needs, but you get the picture. So let's recap. Set the Silius web bundle as parent in your app bundle.php file. Create the same directory structure as a web bundle. And you can start overriding any templates you want. So that's it. If you enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, I will make some more of these about Silius, so subscribe to keep track of my uploads. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, um, feel free to post your question in the comments section below. I will try and answer all of your questions. You can find Symphoniac on Facebook and Twitter. If you like Silius, make sure to give the project a star on GitHub. Thank you for watching.